Hi there! It's wonderful that you tuned in. Here is Max again and I already did a little bit of spring break shopping. Here you see all the little treasures that I ordered at Creative Bunt. You will find the link and a little short term goodie as well as the list of all the supplies in the description box below this video. But there's a lot to do today and I need to hurry a little bit. As you can see my art journal is already a little bit bulky and so I'm helping with a little book that I'm placing underneath. Here I'm tearing music paper into pieces and adhering them afterwards onto the page by using matte medium gel. Next I'm using a light wash of gesso to push the music paper a little bit into the background. Today I'm using acrylic paints that I'm applying lightly with my blending tool. By mixing lime and yellow I'm trying to get the impression of a fresh meadow in spring. Then I'm using a stencil to bring on some dots in a darker shade of green. In case something goes wrong, you can easily wipe the paint off with a baby wipe and apply it again. And here I'm already shading the edges a little bit in advance. To transfer the silhouettes of the stencil onto both pages, I'm using the darker green again. After cleaning the stencil, I'm transferring only the blossoms onto white cardstock using several different vibrant colors. As soon as the acrylics are dry, I'm outlining the blossoms. And afterwards they will simply be cut with the scissors. I'm outlining everything as the stamp images that I'm using later will also be outlined. And so everything comes together. Next I'm adhering the blossoms onto their places that are already marked in green on the page. After everything is dry again, I'm enforcing the stems with a green marker. And also the stems will be outlined in black. And of course we will have some highlights in white. Now I'm darkening all the edges with a dark green marker and shading all the pieces on the page. Because I sealed everything before with matte medium, I'm now able to smear the ink for a few seconds to create the shadows. Afterwards it dries absolutely permanent. And the edges are still a little bit too light for me. And now it's time to stamp the images. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink for that and then I'm coloring everything with my beloved Prisma Color Pencils. If you are watching closely you will notice that I'm not fully coloring the image. I'm only lightly applying the colors because I'm blending them afterwards with an odorless solvent and paper stomps. As soon as everything is done, I'm cutting again with my scissors. And 
I'm doing absolutely the same with all the other images. Of course, all of them will be adhered with matte medium again to shade them afterwards as well. Here I colored a scrap piece of paper with the same acrylic ink and using a metal die to create grass, which I'm adhering in tufts to the page. Looking at the switched dimensions between the flowers and the kids on this page, the quote, grow for me, definitely inherits several meanings. The tufts of brass will also be shaded and adjusted according to the background. Here I'm trying to give some color to the letters, but this will definitely change later on. As I already said, all kids on the page are getting shades as well, but this time with a brown marker. And the girl needs a little bit of water to water the flowers. And so I'm building drops as well as a puddle with the gel pen. While setting new highlights on the new pieces, I'm also refreshing those on the old ones that have faded a little bit by the shading exercise. The forgotten flower in the middle will now be pimped up with pink stickles. And while doing so I thought that I could give some shine to the whole page by using green stickles. But the quote was still too pale for me and so I simply colored it totally in pink at the end. And as usual, the picture can transport the vibrant colors much better than the video camera. And so, here you go. Well folks, and that's it for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, then please like, comment and share this video. And if this is your first time here at Color Your Life, then I would love to have you subscribe. And if you additionally click that little bell, you will be immediately notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. And if you like more inspiration, then I have here and here some other proposals for you. Just click on the vids to play them right away. Well, then there is nothing more to say than thank you so much for watching and hope to catch you next time again. Bye bye.